Hi YouTube, this is Bayo here. What I have for you today are for uh, coffee lovers. Um, I got my little Chinese uh, burner set up. I'm having a little problem because the uh, uh, the can is running empty. But if you put it upside down, the the, the, the flames are fine. See, remember that you're running now upside down. I have a big container of coffee, ground coffees right there, but this is what I'm going to show you. I know some of you recognize this. And I know some of you have probably never seen this. Okay, this is a Wally World Special. I think it's less than $3 that you buy to deal with the, uh, when you go fishing. Memory blank. Uh, this is a fish nest that you buy when you are using minnows that you get them from the bait shop. So you don't put your hand and they run around, you scoop it and they got. Now, uh, of course it's used, but you can see the rust on the wire. Again, this is not uh, a good uh, quality uh, steel, stainless steel, like this one. Oh, by the way, I got this one from a uh, Thai store from Thailand, a restaurant uh, and a little store. Uh, this is brand new, whatever brand new for the whopping price of two fifty. This is more expensive and the quality is crappy, as you can see, cameraman. Can you see the rust around? But can you use this to make coffee? Yes, if you have a paper filter. Okay. Now you say, well, why we are bother having this? Well. If you want to, if you have a cup, I don't have a cup right now, but if you want to have a cup, you put it on top of the cup, you put the, um, oops, coffee all over the place, put your ground, your ground coffee, a spoon, uh, and a pre-measured container, I got about three spoons right there. So now you can put from here, kind of hot, straight to uh, the cup. Okay, you two, now we're ready. So you have it over here, ready to be poured. You got the boiling water right here, rolling boil. First of all, let's cut this off. Okay, is it off? Anyways, cut it off. No, start cutting out real quick. Okay, so, and then from here you basically don't get burned now. And you open your filter. And you lift it. And you get some good coffee. Of course they are the wire is out of the cup so you don't have to worry about the, the rust. Okay? And hopefully you don't make a mess. Now I put one spoon of coffee, ground coffee, so maybe you want a little bit strong, you can use two. Now okay. Let me see, let me taste. Yeah. It's good and strong. I like a little strong. So now uh, let's say that you have this whole uh, cup right here. Well, it's bigger than a cup, it's really a quart. So it's the same principle. You just put it here and then you get a. Uh, and then you get uh, the amount of coffee that you need, maybe one, one spoon, soup spoon. Okay, yeah, a little bit too much, but of course you have your, uh, your container. Again, same principle applies. Put that over there, I'll make a mess. And you just go, cameraman. Now, some of you that are older, over 50, recognize this because they used to use it in the U.S. before. But in, in, in Asia and in Latin America, it's still used. 
Uh, by the way, it's real light. It doesn't it's way, doesn't even weigh more than what probably four, three ounces, and it's retractable. Of course, when it's dry. And the other thing you have to do is put your coffee. You can make one cup. You can make the whole pot. And basically, you can do, you can uh, you can use it. Uh, I mean, you can work like like, like like a tea. You know, you put the tea leaf in there, and then now take. I want you to take a look at how dark it is with uh, just two spoons of coffee. Now you can make it lighter one spoon, so you, you control the amount of grounds and then the coffee later. Again, uh, this is basically, you can use it with a uh, filter, so you throw the filter away and you fish a uh, net. It's used to uh, do the job of this uh, cotton material. Now when this is uh, getting old and, and you get holes, you replace it with an old t-shirt because the price is too fifty. What you want to keep is the frame, stainless steel frame. I mean, you cannot beat that. Uh, I know you know how to sew. If, 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 if you want me to, I can teach you how to hand sew. Put a new one over there, that's not a big deal. But take a look at the coffee, guys. I know some people like coffee. Uh, Taste it before you uh, they say it's okay. I like it color first. I like it color, see how dark it is, and then I smell it. Yep, you smell like good coffee. Okay, so basically, what I was trying to uh, show you tonight was you can go back to the old style. If you don't have an Asian store, Chinese or Thai or, or Vietnamese, then you can go to Huawei or any. Uh, store that you can uh, buy the, the minnows and get you one of these little fishnet. I don't know how much it is now, maybe $2.99, $3. This is $2.50 guys, so it's so cheaper. And then make your coffee as much as you want. Now if you the kind that wants to get the little package, 3-in-1 or 2-in-1, hey, by all means, I just show you that you can go and get a good cup of coffee without bringing the whole uh, uh, percolator to <laughs> to the uh, to the uh, to the field and yes keep doing this until the uh, coffee is dark or is ready to be drink guys now I want to take a take a taste right here and see I know it's super hot but ah, strong like I like it okay YouTube remember Asian store or country store, I don't know if they sell it over here. Or if not, you can make it using a hanger, wire, and old t-shirt. Save some money. It's up to you. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And behave. Talk to you later, YouTube.